St. Sebastian is among the most worshipped and respected saints of the Christian faith. He was born in Narbonne in present-day France in the late 3rd century AD, but was educated in Milan, Italy, and it was here that he first met Christianity. During this period, Christians were persecuted and ostracized by the Roman Empire. Sebastian felt a great calling and accepted the Christian faith. He joined the Roman army. Given his physical strength, together with his sharp intelligence, he quickly stood out among the conscripts. Sebastian learned to maneuver between complicated military structures and quickly rose through the ranks. He soon became captain of the Praetorian Guard, a position of great power and prestige under the emperors Diocletian and Maximian. He was highly regarded for both his military ability and his commitment to duty. Using his rank, Sebastian secretly helped many Christians. He would warn communities of any potential persecution, help free prisoners, and, on a few occasions, used his own money to help those in need. He introduced the Christian faith to several of his fellow soldiers, some of whom were moved by the message and accepted baptism. Sebastian was ready for the challenges to come, aware that eventually he would have to make a choice that could cost him everything. A Christian prisoner under torture, looking for relief from his agony, mentioned Sebastian's name as one of his protectors. This news quickly reached a high-ranking officer who, driven by jealousy and suspicion of Sebastian's quick success, took the information directly to Diocletian. The emperor, well known for his distaste for Christians, called Sebastian to his palace. Before the imperial throne, Sebastian was questioned directly about his faith. Rather than deny it or try to protect himself, Sebastian remained steadfast and openly admitted his devotion to Christianity. Diocletian felt betrayed and outraged by this. The emperor was livid and ordered Sebastian to be taken to an open field and tied to a pole. He would be put to death as an example to all. The Christian faith would not be accepted within the high ranks of the Roman army. Archers were called in, and Sebastian was shot through with a barrage of arrows. He was left for dead, his bloodied body a painful vision under the blazing sun. Yet, as night fell, a miracle happened. A Christian woman named Irene, having come to retrieve Sebastian's body and provide him with a proper burial, stumbled upon him still breathing. She carefully took him home with the help of others and tended to his many wounds. Sebastian fought between life and death for weeks, but his resilience and faith, along with Irene's loving care, enabled him to recover. Rather than fleeing or hiding after his recovery, Sebastian, powered by an undaunted bravery, decided to face Diocletian again. He appeared before the emperor, scolding him for his acts of cruelty against the Christians. This bold resurfacing only ignited Diocletian's anger even more. He ordered Sebastian to be beaten to death on the palace steps. After his execution, his body was dumped in the river Tiber to be written off. Yet once again, the Christians recovered his body and buried it in Rome's catacombs, honoring him as a martyr who had sacrificed everything for his faith. Saint Sebastian is regarded as the patron saint of athletes, archers, and soldiers. He is also called upon in many cultures against plagues and epidemics, as it is believed that his intervention can protect against disease. Saint Sebastian is particularly respected in Brazil and is the patron saint of the city of Rio de Janeiro. His story has been a source of inspiration for many over the centuries, and his image remains one of the most recognizable in Christian iconography.